everybody and welcome back to the squad. I'm so excited today to bring to you our boy-girl nursery. Probably the biggest change that you'll notice is that we took these closet doors off. This is such a small room and so we had to make the most use of our space and we found this was the best way to do it. Another change that you'll see is that we moved this dresser changing table from this wall into the closet and then we added a curtain rod and matching curtains to the closet area. So of course in that space on that wall we now have our toddler bed. This was one of my best yard sale finds of the season this year. It was totally unexpected and the curves of it actually matched the curves of our crib. I may eventually strip and stain this piece so it will match the finish of the crib, but for now it serves its purpose just fine. This bookcase was one of our DIY projects for the original nursery. It is the house to our ever-growing library. It used to reside in the closet and now it has found its home here. One of my main goals when I started designing this space was that I wanted an even masculine and feminine influence. This darling wooden truck was handmade. We found it at a craft show last year and gave it to Abram for Christmas and it sits nicely next to this plant. I knew I wanted a plant in the space and I thought maybe a fiddle leaf fig, but that felt a little too trendy. This ZZ plant turned out just perfect and I've nestled it inside this 50 cent Ikea planter that I found at a yard sale. These embroidery hoops I thrifted maybe even before I found out I was pregnant. I saw them, they were in a pair, I think I paid maybe as little as 50 cents for them, and I remember thinking they would be perfect in a nursery, so here they are. And this Big Brother book, you guessed it, thrifted. This sheepskin rug was a Craigslist find. It was actually from our original nursery, but I didn't have it out in my previous nursery tour. My original plan for covering diaper boxes to make them look more decorative for storage felt a little overwhelming, so I ended up purchasing these storage bins from Amazon. They offer a lot of extra storage for toys and clothes that need to be cycled in and out. Moving the changing table into the closet meant that I had to get smart with my storage. I also found this hanging organizer and I use it for all of our shoes and accessories. Ah, so many sweet and feminine touches on this side of the room. The back blanket here that is floral was a gift to us at one of our showers, and the front one was made by a lady at our church. This crib sheet I fell in love with when I was pregnant with Abram. On the website it looked cream. I waited until it went on sale and then I bought it, and then it arrived and it was pink. So I put it away, and now I finally get to use it. This side of the room really continues with that balance of masculine and feminine. At Christmas time, I love to adorn these animal friends with Christmassy accessories that I've handmade. This time around, I've really gotten into watercolors. I never knew how therapeutic they could be. And so I've decided to add a flower crown to our rabbit friend and then I added a little blue bow tie to our raccoon. I think these turned out so sweet and I love that I can change them out anytime. time. 